This is your mother. Hey, Joe, mother, wanna play a zombie I, game? This can't be good. Hey, Joe, wanna play a zombie game? No, I don't play a zombie game! If young Metro don't trust you, shit. I'm gonna shoot you. If you haven't earned the trust of young Metro, I will fire a weapon oh, at you. Oh, it's raining, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's lightning. <laughs> If hip hop producer Young Metro deems you unworthy of his trust for whatever reason, useful. rest assured I will assault you with a firearm. Let it be known that should circumstances arise in which the musical production technician of the hip hop genre known as prepubescent metropolis lacks the confidence to comfortably instill a sense of trustworthiness into you due to past dispositions <laughs> regarding the nature of your character, you have my certainty that I will be harming myself with one of many various caliber ballistic combat firearm weapons and after loading a magazine which can and loading a single unit of this ammunition into the What the fuck are you guys laughing about? Space, which your biological presence encapsulates into the appropriate sighting contraptions affixed to my caliber combat <laughs> so that I may then ex exert force from my index finger onto the trigger mechanism of the weapon system and set forth a ballistics reaction which will launch a bullet-like projectile into the general direction of which you are present with the ambition that said bullet will penetrate your epidermis and burrow deeply into your vital organ system leading to internal Blowing up <laughs> external spillage of said liquids and severe damage of biological tissue deemed only repairable by appropriately trained search. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I don't either. Oh, that that's just that is the type of tirade that I aspire to make one day. That, that was just, just tearing. You know, you, you know who we all really aspire to be in terms of wit. Who? Me? We, we all no. aspire to be Winston Churchill. Yeah. Let's be real. No man could deliver a comeback or zinger to anyone. Even Karens cannot conquer Winston Churchill. And I know this because there are literally quotations of Karens trying to get the better of him, and then he just turns around without even trying and just wins. Like, uh, what is it? Oh, that was a um, the planet. It's, no, what? Oh, no, like, one of them was... Uh, one of them tried to insult him, being like, "You sir are drunk," and he's, and then he fires back, "And you're ugly, but tomorrow I shall be sober." <laughs> Winston Churchill had the had the yeah, wit to match them all. Ones. Yeah. All right. No one, no one can clap back. It's been okay. fun. No one. That was a bad. Sleep. You go to bed, Robin. Yeah. You get the good mm. sleep, man. Forty. Okay, yeah. No one can clap back as good as Churchill. See you. See you, chat. I'm gonna go make out with everybody. Bye. Uh, Understandable. Oh, mm. I. What are these memes? It's just like a picture of the person saying like what they're famous for, and then it just gets worse and worse. Like their face gets drawn more shittily as it goes, with like a longer explanation of their phrase. Like, yes, man's not, man's not hot. Gentleman is not feverish. The gonna ex gonna give it to you. <laughs> X thing that you devolves into a, per a certain person under the designation of X is going to be giving something of relative importance to you. Yes, X going to give it to you. An individual named X is going to give you something. There's a person who has been given the identity of X who has decided to distribute something of an ambiguous nature to you because of an unknown reason. Sir, I wish to inform you that you have been selected in an unclear process by a black clothed man in the style of a rapper who has received the given name X. And as a result of being selected in this process, the man known as X has planned has a plan which he will soon execute in which he will decide to distribute something that is of unknown origin, quantity, or nature, but is likely to be dangerous to yourself. What are these memes? I, I love those memes. They're the fucking These best. are just... No, I admit, um, I, I might get a lot of hate for this, but I've been uh, bliss can confirm. I was looking at 4chan recently, and oh... God, they've been they've been on a roll making making like really good memes. The problem is they're only on 4chan at the moment, so I, I'm looking at the beta test of what will eventually be released, and it's You're great. Her, man, my friend got motherfucking meme beta access. Yo, basically, yo, what that's where that's where I got no, that's where I got roof Koreans. Well, I got it from Tim Cast, but uh, <laughs> that, that's one of the places I got roof Koreans from. Dude, 
Okay, 4chan is like meme beta access. 8chan is like Mr. meme Dromiel, alpha thank access. You for hosting. That's right. the dev kit. That's the dev kit. It's just a bunch of people sitting in 8chan going, hmm, meme. Meme. No, no. <laughs> God, it's a fucking but, like, one, my favorite recent one, I'm not going to explain it because it, I found it on poll, but it was uh, King Raz of AutoZone. <laughs> Sentry going up. I am building an automatic turn in this location. In order to achieve total destruction of the opposing team, therefore completing the mission, I shall construct an automatically aiming turret to blast a 2,500 kilometer per second projectile that deals physical harm to other human beings, and then it's just BAP. You must construct additional pylons. Tell Finn to get another sentry out there. I need my me I need I need my dispenser protected. No, I know I've been on this and I'm not and I'm not like shitting it shitting on it. But uh, have you ever had a moment in a story uh, where someone is presented as being a a really good strategist, but then when you actually look at their strategies, they're pretty basic. And you yeah. Like uh, I'm not saying I'm not shitting on this. I, I do love the series, but um, I remember in Seven Nation Army for the TF2 series, Doctor Wolf was like, "There's a strategy that no one can know. What's the strategy? Him and Finn build a sentry gun. <laughs> That's the strategy. And what apparently, no one apparently no one was supposed to know that. Which is what about the glorious strategist from Jade Empire? I never played Jade Empire. It's like the lesser played cousin of Kotor, uh, from what I'm told. He is good. Is an actual, that is an apt description that you have just uh, spouted out of your. Uh, oh boy, is you are about to go onto the roof, my Cabbage friend. Cabbage pulp. Uh huh. Okay. I don't know if this. You're is going it. to the roof. Yep. I'm guessing that's the final stage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hurl so then, let us see what it is. Shut up. Cabbage, not lettuce. You fucking idiot. Nowhere. No, 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 no. Oh wait, Solar, do you remember, this is an old one, but a classic one, from uh, Slash K, I baptized thee in the name of the murder cube. Oh, fuck. I remember that. Um, I'll be right back, guys, my brother has just finally arrived, like, two hours later than he should. See you, man. See ya. They even found a way onto your roof. Ah, he's just the that are Don't worry, I've hired roof Koreans <laughs> to stop them. There, you know, there, there, there are roof Korean zombies. Look, there's one right now. You can see him. No, no. Um, <laughs> for those of you who don't know the joke, it was, it, it was another. Well, I, I heard it from Tim Pool, but it got, but it became popular. It was, um, something so about a guy defending his business, a, a Korean guy defending his business by, hold, by, with a rifle on his rooftop, saying, "Don't come any closer" or something. And he, he successfully fended off the people who were going to destroy it. But like, so there's now a meme about roof Koreans. <laughs> Like, do not worry, this establishment is defended by roof Koreans. I, I just want to point out, that really is some fucking apocalypse shit, is just on top of a building fucking shooting at people that try to fuck with you. Yeah, um, okay, so I- The roof Koreans are here. I don't think the blovers need it anymore, unless the guy on the frickin' rope is, like, up to- Uh, it. no, I'm pretty sure blovers aren't necessary. Okay, so the bungee zombie, uh... He's a piece of shit, is what he is. Okay, should I use the cactus, since it can aim high? Um... No, not really. Honestly, the only things that you should use... Okay, what I, I mean, have yeah, is I... the sunflower, pea shooter, cabbage pole, torch wood, the tall nut... I would say definitely the tall nuts, definitely the cabbage bolts. Um, the regular projectiles aren't really going to be of value here because the roof slants up and slants down, so you'll actually be shooting into the roof and over zombies. So the only ones that... Sh if you're going to use straight shooting ones, you should only really put them on the first row. Like the row that is closest to the flat part of the roof, mm -hmm. that's the only one you should put them on. Because otherwise, it's just gonna shoot into the roof or shoot over them. So, all right. Um... I would still definitely keep the tall nut though. Um, Torchwood, yeah. I don't believe is going to really be necessary because, again, you should be putting the only straight shooters on the ones that's closest <laughs> to the flat part. So that's okay. not. All right. You're not gonna um, actually have room to put the. What torch about wood the down. um? What about the three Peter? Will that work? Because it shoots in uh, different directions. 
Yeah, it does, but again, you're still going against the angle of the roof, so if you're going to use those, put them on, okay. again. Uh, the cactus the uh, uh, shoots upward. Will that work here? Um, yeah. Okay. You but better not be talking about my San Pedro. You could, yeah. So, um, uh, also the pumpkin. The pumpkin's pretty solid here. All right, so I got the pumpkin and... set. And... Uh, probably the snow pea is snow pea. another one just to slow down the ones that are really okay. tough getting up there. Those guys might like, okay, I would have to like, because the pea shooters are cheaper, I would use those first. And then when I have enough, replace them with the snow pea. <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. But the cabbage pole is the same amount as the pea shooter. So that's all right. Nice. So right now I got everything full. I got the sunflower, cabbage pole, tall nut, pea shooter, cactus, cherry bomb, pumpkin, and snow pea. Yeah, that seems about right. All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. You need rough nut and Yeah, so nut. that front row, that's where you want to put your straight shooters. Every other row, just throw down cabbage bolts. Mm -hmm. See, if you had roof careens, oh. this would not be a problem. I'm just looking on Twitter right now. I have an image that Fiora posted. Mm -hmm. We really gonna have to pick between a Wi-Fi router and a mini fridge. And then I realized it's the PS5 versus the X <laughs> new Xbox. Yep. Holy, Holy shit! shit. She wasn't joking, joking about that. that. Holy oh, crap! crap. <laughs> we gonna play with a router or a mini fridge today? I'll take um, the mini fridge. I'll, uh, I'll take the... I don't know. I think I want to take the router. Why? Does know. it look ergonomic to you? It doesn't look like a box! <laughs> yeah, but the Xbox has Halo. Nice. That's yeah, exactly. but I have a PS4, so I'm good. Yeah. You don't have Halo. I yeah. don't play Halo. Which means you haven't experienced Sergeant Johnson. Y'all play exactly. Halo! No, that you have not played the better sequel to the spiritual successor to the Aliens franchise, is what you haven't done. Y'all play like Halo. <laughs> and excuse <laughs> you! I know, I know what you're what doing, doing. I, know I know what, what you're referencing, but no. And you know what the worst part is? Everyone here can vouch that I'm not even wrong. I know yep. you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. The, if only you could see the dance I was doing a moment ago. Well, I didn't see it, but I could imagine it pretty easily. And the shit-eating grin I had when I was doing it. What? No, that, in other words, or you can sum it up like this, um, DBZ, DBZ style. You know, you see, I know you're playing me, but you're right. This is I know you're playing my final me. four. What the fuck? But it's working. Hey! Is that yep. what the Stassel does? Oh, you yes. piece of shit! Also, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, There's no one on your front lines, why would you put it, why would you put one that, on a road that has literally no zombies? Ah. Oh shit. Oh you, no. Well, my friend, I think you're kind of fucked because here's the thing, you don't have the potted plants. So guess what? Now you can't put any more down on that row because you let that guy get that far Jesus off. Jesus Christ. This is a basic concept of strategy, my friend. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry you that always... I was busy with trying to recover the bottom row, man. If, if they steal a fucking sunflower, they steal a sunflower. At the end of the day, that's only 25 sun power. Hey, that rhymed. Uh -oh. but, aside, but aside from that, if there's a zombie that is currently fucking at your front lines, those are the ones you focus on. This is a fucking basic strategy here. You always prioritize the ones that are ahead of the others, because if you focus on the ones in the back, the ones in the front just keep coming. You take out those ones in the front, then you have more time to hit the ones in the back. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Derp. Is there any way to get rid of the uh, bungee zombies? Uh, currently, I don't believe so, aside from just fucking blasting him as soon as he gets down. I mean, you could plant a cherry bomb next to him, I suppose. Transfer the bungee zombies to 3434. Also, put the. Yeah, I get the pumpkin. The pumpkin's a good choice. Alright. Especially for your frontline plants, because that's essentially what it is. The pumpkin gives you all the protection. No, put the sunflowers down, obviously. 
here's what you do. You prioritize on picking up sun and putting down sunflowers until you see the first zombie, at which point then you prioritize on him. And they're coming from the bottom. Nice. He, okay, so then you prioritize that guy. Hi, I'm busy coaching Golden how to fight zombies using cabbages. Hi, Golden. Also, you have enough for more sunflowers. Start putting your sunflowers down. <laughs> Ooh, it's the flippity flop. Oh, it's the mythy. It's myth. I it's wanted to fuck with myth. Golden, but oh. he, he doesn't seem phased. <laughs> We've been yelling at him for the past, I don't know how many freaking hours. This, so this, I think this he's game, not based anymore. <laughs> this game is my version of your Tetris Bliss. Uh, gotcha. Mm, yeah. This I played this game so fucking often in early high school. I, okay, um, well then get ready for a compliment because you have more self-restraint than I do. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Because I was backseat screaming my bloody head off till I was purple at how wrong Golden is playing Tetris. <laughs> you haven't really done that yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not I don't. Yet. I don't want to scare him off. Also, this is why I said the snow peas are really good because you can slap them on the front line and take care of those kinds of dickheads. But right now, your main priority is definitely to protect the flower pots because if you lose those, you currently have no way of replacing them. Oh, uh -oh. giant angry nut. The tall nut, yeah. He is so <laughs> unhappy. So disgruntled. How, how dare you attack the tall nut? Tall nut's doing his job. Oh no! What? You want to know what's really funny? You can put the, uh. Come on! Gotcha! Yeah, you could put the uh, pumpkin around the tall nut, so it's essentially just two shields stacked on top of each other, right. which oh, is smart. fucking hilarious. There's a... Oh, I see. Also, yeah, um, in case you haven't noticed by this point, uh, the ideal strategy for taking down the cone heads is to have at least two projectiles going in that row, because one set of projectiles oh my God. is not enough to stop it. Oh, I need to take a few hits before that thing comes Come on, off. take him out! Son of a bitch! Shoot It'll be... her! Oh no! Shoot her! Uh -huh. oh. oh fuck! Okay, now you got double zombie. projectiles. Bad zombies. I would say yes. Yeah, start prioritizing on trying to get at there least two go. projectiles going down each row. Ah, uh, which one should I? Come on, That's we need it. more sun power. Stop. There we go. Sun power! Oh, fuck! Uh, it's gonna take one, don't worry about it. It's just a sunflower. You motherfucker! Uh, they just dropped uh, right at the spot! Shit! That's unfortunate. Oh, no. A huge wave. Oh, fudge. Oh my oh, god, you. Dude. Oh, oh, fuck! I oh, think there's a lot of fish. Oh, oh shit! Oh, god. <laughs> fuck! That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is he's actually pretty close to the end because there's only one big wave this round. Oh, okay. So as long as they take that guy. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Now you have the flower useful. pots. So, yeah, you already know what the flower pots do at this point. They enable yeah. you to plant on the roof, which hey, is neighbor, fucking got some new no items way. for sale. Really? Let's see if Highly got. useful. Yep. Uh, also, I would say visit Crazy Dave and fucking get the roof cleaner because you're going to fucking need that shit. Roof Where is that? Crazy days! Is that it? Is that it? it? No, that's the pool cleaner, you oh. idiot. <laughs> it's literally the only other thing there! It's the roof cleaner! Alright, well I got the roof cleaner now. How do you not know what a pool cleaner looks like? I have there never it is. Because I never that's owned a pool, that's for... why. There I've it had is! I've a pool in my backyard for the better part of like, what, fucking... Yeah, about 18 fucking years, and I still know what a fucking pool cleaner looks you like. You y'all remember Rage Blizzy? Here's Rage Solar. <laughs> and then you fucking have, you go around like, oh, is it this thing? Is it, you're pointing at literally every other thing on screen. Where's the roof cleaner? He says, ignoring the one thing that he hasn't uh. done yet that is labeled as a roof cleaner. 
<laughs> Alright, so I'm at $3,000. Uh, anything else I should buy? Uh, I don't know. Drugs. <laughs> Drugs. God damn it, Solar! Some earplugs to uh. I didn't Mr. Baxi Gamer over here doesn't know what else to get. <laughs> Three thousand dollars is pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I just jumped.